when you wait upon the lord it brings down the power of god now this is the most important and wonderful point that i can tell you that when we wait upon god it brings down the power of god read with me book of isaiah 40 verse 31 But those who wait on the Lord But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength shall renew their strength they shall mount up you see those who wait on the Lord they shall renew their strength now strength means power strength means power power, power of god hallelujah hallelujah those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength, strength. they it means they will gain the power of god they will gain the power of god see usually when someone waits for something for example if you go to the hospital medical center okay when you see the number on the screen is 120 huh? 120 but the ticket that you get it shows 250 how would your soul your heart will be oh my god another 100 more to go so the very first one hour uh, a bit uh, strengthen to wait with a little energy that you have you will wait but after one hour two hour the way that you sit on the chair can show how weak you are you know at first you sit so straight but now you have gone down as so you need to go to the floor that's how because you becoming weak waiting and you begin to be frustrated you know you feel like when will they call my number why is so late oh these people are not responsible to a few counters are closed why they are closed all kinds of thoughts will come into our mind our soul our flesh will become weak we feel giddy the crowd is there we become weak we become weak usually when we wait we become weak this is physical this is physical but the bible says that those who wait on the lord shall renew the strength now the point is here when you wait upon the things that has been promised on you you will become weak but if you wait upon the one who promised you you will gain the power got the point are you clear what i mean god promised you certain things for example god is telling you i'm going to give you this pillar for some purpose that you need it and you fix your eyes on that pillar you will become tired when will i get this pillar when will i get this pillar when will i get the banner or the watch behind here that will be your focus your focus on the blessing your focus on the promise it will make you weak but if you focus on the one who promised you will not become weak you will become strong and strong and strong because he is the one who supplies the power not the promise the promise can revive you for a moment but what can keeps you going is the one who promise hallelujah hallelujah you see abraham was able to wait for 25 years not because he focused on the promise he focused on god he walked with god you can't reach your destination without focusing on god hallelujah means you're waiting on god when you wait on the blessings you will become weak when you wait upon the one who bless you will become strong and strong and strong hallelujah hallelujah now do you understand why you are weak do you understand why you are weak because when you wait on the lord you will never feel lonely you will never feel weak you will never feel like empty because there's someone greater than the blessing is with you No blessings that God promised you is greater than himself. He is so great. He fills every emptiness in our life. Therefore, we won't feel lonely or empty because he is there. Hallelujah. But the problem is we focus on the blessings, on the promise. That's why we are becoming weak. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No. If we are waiting on God, we are gaining the power of god but if we are waiting for something else we are losing the little power of god that we have in us 